dear friends, to Tales of Gen X Terror, where we unpack the apocalyptic dread underneath the skin of late Cold War pop culture. My name's Neil, and I'm a natural. So today we're going to take a look at a classic of Japanese manga and anime from the 1980s, and that is Katsuhiro Otomo's Akira. Akira first appeared in 1982 in Japan's Young Magazine as a serialized manga. Six years later in 1988, the feature film was released in Japan and eventually made its way to the United States where it really did look unlike anything else before or after in the world of anime. Today I will be taking a very brief read of the first few pages of the manga as shown in the box set that you see behind me. Let us begin. At 2.17 on December 6th, 1982, a new type of bomb exploded over the metropolitan area of Japan. Nine hours later, World War III began. Leningrad, Moscow, Kazan, Vladivostok, Irkutsk, Novosibirsk, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, New Orleans, Houston, Cape Canaveral, Washington, New York, Okinawa, Berlin, Hamburg, London, Birmingham, Paris, New Delhi, and the world began to rebuild. Neo Tokyo, 28 years after World War III, 2019 AD. And that is the very first few pages of Akira. Before we meet any of the characters or know what is going on at all, we understand that we are rebuilding the world after nuclear destruction. Akira is a work that is utterly brutal. It's violent and gory and terrifying and gorgeous. And I think I'm just going to leave it with that. If you've got other pieces of pop culture that I should be checking out, go ahead and drop that in the comments. I love it when you subscribe or, you know, give me those thumbs because thumbs make me feel good. Thank you so much for coming along, and we will see you when the other shoe drops.